Good day po! Nandito na naman po tayo para sa bagong tutorial. Katulad po ng mga nauna nating tutorial, ang gagamitin po nating application ngayon ay PowerPoint presentation. So, ang ibabahagi ko po sa inyo ay kung paano po maging video presentation yung mga PowerPoint presentation po natin. So, meron ma maaari po nating dagdagan ito ng narration. Ngayon pong nasa new normal na tayo, maaari po natin itong gawin, lalong-lalo na po sa mga estudyante nating ang option ay online learning. Yun nga lang, nung oras ng lesson natin, uh, nawalan sila bigla ng connection, nawalan ng kuryente. Ayan. So, meron po tayong pang backup. Pwede po nila itong e-view anytime na bumalik na po yung kuryente nila or umayos na po yung internet connection. So, mag-start na po tayo. Open lang po tayo ng file natin sa PowerPoint. So, any lesson po na nagawa na natin sa PowerPoint presentation. Ayan. So, ito po sa akin, Mathematics 6. Yan. So, kung makikita nyo po, ready-made na po itong PowerPoint ko. Ang gagawin ko na lang is doon na po sa pag-create ng video. Ang una pong gagawin ay pupunta po dito sa slideshow. Dito po sa taas. Yan. So, sa slideshow lang. Then, andito po yung mga options. Ang piliin po natin is itong um, record slideshow. Yung may drop-down arrow po dyan, so may option if current slide lang or from the beginning. So, from the beginning po tayo mag-re-record. Ayan. So, kung makikita nyo po dito, merong record, stop, and then replay. So, kapag pinindot na na po natin itong recording na to mag-start na po yung recording natin, tapos mag-start na din po tayo ng pagsasalita natin. Dito po sa baba, kasi depende din po ito sa um, PowerPoint na version ninyo. Ito po sa akin is yung Microsoft Office 365, yung bigay po sa atin ng DepEd. Yan. So, pwede po, pwede kang mag, um, may mga pens. Yan. Tapos, pwede nyo rin po siyang i-erase. So, habang nagre-record ka, maaari po, mo pong magamit itong mga tools na to. So, mag-start na po tayo ng recording. Good day class, good morning, and welcome to our class in Mathematics 6. I'm Miss Marian Isabel Silubrin, your mathematics teacher. So to start with, let's have our prayer. So may, may I request everyone to please stand and feel the presence of the Lord. Maybe through your blessings, add purity to the world. Subtract evil from our lives, multiply the good news of your Son, and divide your gifts, and share them with others. Amen. And now let's have our song. Math is a part of our everyday lives. Wonderful surprises right before our very eyes. Math time, math time, it's math time. Easy plus chaga equals math dali. And now, let's have our poem. I know you all know our poem about mathematics. Mathematics about me. Numbers, numbers all around. Everywhere they can be found. Numbers tell how old I am and how many people in my fam. How much I weigh and just how tall. Where I live and that's not all. Numbers are a part of me. Money, time, and history. When to wake up and when to eat. What size of shoes to buy for my feet. How much money something costs. A number to call if my dog gets lost. I don't know where I would be if numbers weren't a part of me. Okay, so now I know that you are all ready. Let's have our drill boards and pens. So you may use your notebook and then your pen. So I have here um, a decimal number and then all you need to do is to identify the place value of the underlined digit. So are you ready? Okay, everyone's ready. First question. So you have 20 seconds to answer. Okay. 
Okay, so what's your answer? Okay, okay, hundreds. So the answer for our first question drill is hundreds. Are you correct? Okay, very good. Next one. Okay, this one. 20 seconds. Yes, you can do it. Check your spelling. Okay. Okay, so what's your answer? Let's check. Thousands. Make sure that your spelling, ha? Huh? T-H-S. Okay, next one. Okay. Again, check your spelling. Okay, so what's your answer? Very good. Thanks. Okay, now, so we're done with our drill. Let's have a review. So, I have here decimal numbers again, and I want you to read them. So, I want you to read this decimal numbers. So, first decimal number. I want you to read this. Take note of the place value of the last digit. Okay, so what's your answer? So the answer is 65 and 983 thousandths. Are you correct? Okay, very good. Okay, so ganun lang po. Um, Nagre-record lang po tayo sa bawat slide. So, nare-record po kada slide. Yung narration din po natin, nare-record. Ngayon, stop na po natin. So, pwede nyo pong i-replay. Yan. So, pwede natin i-replay. First decimal number. I want you to read this. Yan. So, kapag uh, pinindot po natin yung replay, ang nare-replay po is itong slide na naka-project sa screen. Pwede din po tayong mag... Ayan, kasi nag-stop na po pala tayo. So, stop na. Tapos po... Yan. So, ayan yung mga settings natin. Yung microphone na ginagamit. Yan, yung camera. Kung gusto nyo pong i-view yung camera dito. Yan. So, clear recordings kapag nagkamali ka. Ayan. Ayan. Kung makikita nyo po, andyan na po yung mga recordings natin. Ayan o, meron pong mga icon sila dyan. So, tingnan po natin kapag ipiplay. Good day class, good morning, and welcome to our class in Mathematics 6. I'm Ms. Morgan Isabel Celebrate, your Mathematics teacher. Ayan. So... Um, per slide po, basta lahat nung uh, meron tayong recording na boses or narration, yan, na-record naman po lahat ni PowerPoint. Ngayon po, gagawin na po natin siyang video. So, dito na po tayo sa file, then save as. Yan, save as, tapos po browse lang tayo. And then, gusto ko pong i-save dito sa desktop ko. Tapos po, um, addition of... Decimals video. The save as type, palitan po natin siya ng MP4. Yan. So, ito po yung iba't iba nating option. Ito po. MPEG4 video. Tapos po save. Yan. Makikita naman po natin dito sa baba kapag okay na po yung pag-save natin. Yan. So, medyo matagal lang po. Balikan ko po kayo kapag okay na po yung saving natin. Ayan, so okay na po yung pag-save natin. Ngayon po, ang gawin na po natin is i-minimize po muna natin itong PowerPoint presentation natin. Tapos po, ito na po yung na-save na video ko. 
Diba po, ito po yung file name ko na inilagay, Addition of Decimals Video. Dahil po nasa desktop siya, kasi po, dito po yung nilagay ko nung nag-browse ako, nung isa-save as ko na. Save as, tapos browse, tapos nilagay ko po sa desktop, tapos ito po yung file name. Ngayon, i-view na po natin. So, makikita nyo naman po dito sa gilid, ayan, kitang-kita na naka-video na siya. Tsaka po, ayan o, item type, mp4 file. Tapos, ayan po yung size and then yung length. I-open ko na po. Ayan, tapos ima, um, maximize ko lang. Ayan na. Good day class, good morning, and welcome to our class in Mathematics 6. I'm Ms. Marian Isabel Silubrin, your Mathematics teacher. So, to start with, let's have our prayer. So, may, may I request everyone to please stand and feel the presence of the Lord. Maybe through your blessings, add purity to the world, subtract evil from our lives, multiply the good news of your Son, and divide your gifts, and share them with others. Amen. And now, let's have our song. Math is a part of our everyday lives. Wonderful surprises right before our very eyes. Math time, math time, it's math time. Easy plus chaga equals math dali. And now let's have our poem. I know you all know our poem about mathematics. Mathematics about me. Numbers, numbers all around. Everywhere they can be found. Numbers tell how old I am and how many people in my fam. How much I weigh and just how tall. Where I live and that's not all. Numbers are a part of me. Money, time, and history. When to wake up and when to eat. What size of shoes to buy for my feet? How much money something costs? A number to call if my dog gets lost. I don't know where I would be if numbers weren't a part of me. Okay, so now I know that you are all ready. Let's have our drill boards and pens. So you may use your notebook and then your pen. So I have here... Um, a decimal number, and then all you need to do is to identify the place value of the underlined digit. So, are you ready? So, dito po, advantage niya, syempre, kahit na wala yung teacher, kahit na hindi uh, maayos yung internet connection ni bata, lalong-lalo na po nung designated time nila for online learning, maaari po nila itong ma view. Kasi diba po, pwede din naman po isan natin yung mga recorded videos natin sa Google Meet. Yun nga lang po, baka medyo maguluhan yung bata. Kasi syempre, lalong-lalo na kapag nagpapasagot tayo sa mga uh, iba nilang kaklase, diba? baka po kasi malito sila yung sa mga sinasagot ng mga kaklase nila. Unlike po dito na meron tayong... Um, Meron po tayong ready-made video na para sa bata kasi ang gagawin lang naman po natin, magna-narrate lang tayo tapos isi-save natin ito. Tapos yun, pwede na po natin i-share sa mga bata. Tapos hindi lang naman po learning materials yung pwede natin gawin dito po sa natutunan natin ngayon na from PowerPoint presentation to video presentation. So halimbawa, gagawa tayo ng uh, mga presentation na kailangan naka-video type. Tapos po, gusto mong ma-personalize talaga. Eh, di ba po sa PowerPoint, lahat pwede natin gawin. Pwede tayo mag-add ng charts, ng mga shapes, yan, mga animation. Yan. So, dito po, sa naibahagi ko po sa inyo, uh, na why magamit po natin lahat sila, lalong-lalo na po ngayon sa ating new normal situation. Yun lang po at maraming salamat!